Alright, I wasn't planning on making any videos anytime soon, but I just found out the news, so I'm making one. New Yurusa Yatsura anime teaser unveils cast. Date for production staff, one year length. That implies it's going to be either 26 or 52 episodes. That's cool. The official website for the new television anime of Rumiko Takahashi's Yurusa Yatsura manga ended its countdown timer on Saturday at 1 p.m. with a teaser promotional video. The teaser announces the anime's main cast and main staff. The anime will adopt selected stories from the manga and run for four cores or a full year. Although not necessarily consecutively, the first season will premiere in 2022. So that's like 52 episodes, so that's cool. <laughs> So, I see the new art. <laughs> anyway, I am a big fan of this show, so I'm so... <laughs> a beat that it's getting a new anime adaptation. <laughs> it's so cool. The original anime eared almost 40 years ago at this point. It premiered in 1981 and it concluded in 1987. Of course, that's when the main series ended. They continued to put out a few specials until either 1989 or 1991. I mean, so they were still putting out a small amount of new content when after the Rama anime premiered. Still, this is the first new series they're putting out and since like 1989 I mean if you count the OV episodes as a series and this is the f first amount of any content they're doing since 2008 when they did like a one-off special so let's continue reading Hiroshi Kiyima will voice Artari Muroboshi and Samurai Useke will voice Lum, right. Well, that's them posing with their characters. <laughs> Interesting. I think they said David Productions is doing this, which is cool because they always do a great job adopting anime. Hmm. Let's see what other stuff David Productions work. David. Productions. Mm hmm. Well, most famously, they worked on JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Hmm. Oh, they did Cells at Work. Interesting. And Captain says, Vasa. Oh, they did Fire Force, too. <laughs> so, I think the only anime they did that I've seen were JoJo's and Fire Force. <laughs> but they always do good stuff, so I'm pretty excited. <laughs> okay. Hidea Takahashi, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Golden Wind, Strike Witch's Road to Berlin, and Yoshio Kimura, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure Golden Wind, are directing the anime at David Production. And Yuko Kakahara, Sales at Work, Heaven's Loft's Property, is overseeing the series scripts. Nyoiko Asuna is designing the characters. Rumiko Takahashi drew the following sketch to celebrate the new anime news.
the anime will appear in the Noitama programming block on Fuji TV and other channels in 2022 to mark the 100th anniversary of the manga's publisher, Shogakukan. Viz Media began publishing the manga in 201 Omnibus Editions in 2019 with new translation. The manga series ran in Shokugaku's We Couldn't Show Only Sunday magazine from 1978 to 1987. Viz Media previously released part of the series in English under the titles Lum and The Return of Lum in the 90s. The manga inspired a television anime series that ran from 1981 to 1986, various anime films, an original video anime series. Anime Eagle released most of the previous anime and home video. And there's the website. Hmm. It says it's a follow-up of this article? Okay. <laughs> well, the website's all in Japanese, so I can't read it. Still, it looks interesting. Hmm. Is she the girl from Steinsgate? Ah, oh, there it is. So, a full page. New Year's Greeting on January 1st edition of Senkai Simba Paper announced that Rumiko Takahashi's Zero Story Sir manga is inspiring a new television anime in 2022. The advertisement lists a website that is hosting a countdown timer ending on Saturday at 1 p.m. The advertisement reports the promotional video will debut at that time. So Viz Media has been publishing it since 2019, and the manga ran in Weekly Shonen Sunday from 1978 to 1987. And Viz Media previously released it. Yeah, okay, so this is just reiterating what I've already talked about in the other article. Okay, so let's see what Contrairo has to say about this. Classic? Classic anime Yurusa Yatsera gets all-star four-part new TV series in 2022 at Dave Productions. So, so far, what we've known already? So it seems like it's going to be around 50 episodes, which is cool. I think the original anime was like 160 episodes? Le le oh, actually it was 195.
and that's not counting like the A to OVA episodes or whatever. Actually, there were 11. Okay. So, like, over 200 episodes in total. You know, I think roughly 60% of the original manga either got an decent enough anime adaptation, but... The other 30% either wasn't adopted at all, or was adopted so, uh, differently in the anime that it might as well not have been adopted in the first place. So... Hmm. Let's see, a third of 30 is 10. So... Theoretically, there is enough unadopted content in the manga to fill, like, a whole 52-episode anime. And they could... So they could just make the anime entirely unadopted content without having to... re-tread anything that's already in the first anime if they didn't want to. I mean, maybe they'd also go a route where they, like redo the premiere and a few key important milestones. We'll have to see what's going to happen. So let's continue with the article. After more than 35 years, Rumiko Takahashi's seminal manga series, Your Side Sarah, is getting a new TV anime series this year with four cores, so again around 50 episodes. An official website for the upcoming series opened today with a trailer, a look at Lum in the first key visual, the lead staff, and the voice cast behind the two main characters. The website opening was teased in the morning edition of Senkai Shimbu newspaper this morning. It's interesting how they set the announcement of this new series exactly on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. I'm not sure which is which. <laughs> Voicing Lum and Yusai Yatsir will be Semiri Useka, who is known as the voice of Nakataro in Don't Toy With Me, Nakataro, and the Tarnmo of Boshi will be voiced by Hiroshi Kamiya, best known as the voice of Levi in Attack on Titan. Yeah, because after 40 years, the original actors probably don't have the time or energy to commit to, like, an entire new 50-episode series. The two voice actors pose with their original characters in some adorable concept art. Kaito director Hideki Takahashi will be helming the series as director alongside Yashihiro Kimura with character designs by Noyoki Asano. Yurisa Yatsura creator Yumiko Takahashi posted a congratulatory illustration celebrating the announcement of the TV anime.
The original multi-award winning Yurisai Sera manga series by Riku Takahashi ran from September 1978 to February 1987, inspiring a 195 TV anime series that was broadcast from October 1981 to March 1986, with director Mamoru Oshii helming the first 106 episodes. Four more films were produced, as well as 12 OVAs for the series after the TV broadcast ended, with the last OVA being released in 2008. Viz Media releases the Yurisa Yatsera in English, describing the first volume as such. Yurisa Yatsera is scheduled to air its first part on Fuji TV's Noitami Block at the spring at some point in 2022. My guess is that it's going to be in the fall, but who knows? Maybe, I mean, it could be in the spring, theoretically. So that's it for the articles I wanted to pull up. I think it's really exciting that Yurisa Yatsera is getting like a new anime and a lot of content that wasn't adopted from the manga in the original anime is probably going to get like a really good, better adoption in this anime. And it's going to be done by David Production, <laughs> which like does really good stuff and does a good job. Uh, faithfully bringing the manga to life on in animated form in a faithful way. So I can't wait. I think that the series is probably going to get a dub because this media is releasing the manga and it's I mean this series is notable enough that it has a significant amount of buzz so I mean, Dororo got a dub, so this probably will too. Again, I'm just reading the comments for myself. I mean, since it's on the screen, you can just read them too. <laughs> Okay, so let's read the comments for the other article.
interesting. So, uh, I guess that's it. I can't think of anything else to say a anymore. I mean, the series is getting like a 50-episode adaptation this year, and it's going to be done by David Productions, which is a studio that usually does very good and faithful adaptations that like do justice to the original material. And it's pretty cool that I think a lot of chapters in the original manga that either never got adapted or never got a proper adaptation of the original anime are going to be brought to life. And because there's a new series, there's even a good chance that there would be an English dub of it. So that's pretty cool. That's all I have to say, I guess. I mean, I guess I could talk about how, in general, Rimiko Takahashi's anime has been doing pretty good. Like, Yashahimi ha has been performing pretty high in the ratings, and Mao has so far been a lot more successful than Rini. I guess that's all I could think of that I have to say. Okay, cool. Bye.